What's up everyone, I'm Tucker Jobs and welcome back to another Wonder Kid to Superstar episode and this time we are going to have a look at an Italian defender all right, from Bologna and it's absolutely insane. Welcome back guys then, so before we start the video, as usual, make sure to subscribe to FM Sky, alright, uh, big thumbs up as well, and comment on the uh, on the video if you have had this guy before, it's Wisdom Ami, hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name right, because it's 15, I haven't really heard too much about him in real life, just on this game, uh, and after the video, once you've got time, go into the description, click the link to my channel guys, it's Tucker Jobs, and go and support me there, go and subscribe, go and follow, go and watch the videos, you, you know the you know the gist uh so yes back to this wonder kid already looks fantastic by the way all right physicals are fan yeah it's great for a 15 year old Com considering the dude's got 14 strength at 15 yeah you you you're gonna get excited for what it's gonna look like when he's a, a fully grown colossal center back stopping every challenge uh, <laughs> at the back so yeah acceleration 12 agility 12 balance 13 jump and reach 14 fitness 14 pace 12 stamina 13 strength 14 mentals looking pretty decent technicals not so much but they're gonna get better because this man has 170 potential ability as his max all right so that's not saying that is gonna always be this good in your saves guys we are gonna set it at 170 because that's the best he can be and we're gonna showcase him that way uh, obviously we'll be sending him to different clubs I'll, I'll, i normally take him to manchester united that's how i do my wonder kid videos obviously cement them in place we do the seasons we have a look at little points in the future obviously two years on five years on ten years on then at the end of his career and we can have a look how good he actually becomes um but right now he is playing in the under 18s at bologna uh, obviously he's 15 years old why wouldn't he be playing in the under 18s but if you go to buy him all right there is an approach to sign but he might not come to you that way because even with man U, he says that he wants to develop at Bologna, you don't want to move that way, so you're gonna have to go for the transfer route. All right, so if you ask his agent first, you're keen on signing him, you're saying, Believe Bologna will uh, accept between 220k and 2.2 million. Happy days for a wonder kid with a potential ability of 170. If we can get him less than a million, that is an absolute bargain for the future. All right, so uh, yeah, let's make an offer. All right, starts off 220k. That's Go for that then. So they've gone straight up now to 750k, 700k in instalments. So if we get rid of the instalments, all right, let's give him 800k. Still under a million, guys. Accepted. Now, with a little bit of tinkering, a little bit of playing, you might actually get a better offer than that. But right now, we can get him for 800k. But let's start the video. Let's send him over to Manchester United. All right, and we'll put him as the centre back and we'll cement him there. And we're going to have a look in. A year, two years, see how he looks, see how he's developed, and see what his first uh, couple of season stats are. Right then, so we have now gone two seasons, all right? As you can see, this is the tactic that we're using with uh, Ami as the centre-back, not a ball-playing uh, defender because we couldn't really see any passing ability. So we opted for the centre-back role. And um, yeah, this tactic is nothing special, all right? It's just a pre-made tactic, and then I just put them on those near corner uh, near corner routines. But again, it's not a broken routine. I literally just used this tactic, went to corners, and all I went was near post. All that is preset, all right? I haven't touched that. It's not a downloaded one. It's just a normal routine that comes with a preset, so remember that. Um, but going to the player now, Ami has been at Manchester United for two years. How does he look after a little bit of development? Not bad at all. Now, we already established that he had insane strength for a 15-year-old anyway. Now he's 17. His strength is 16. Physicals are all going up. Mentals are going up. Bravery is 16. The lad is courageous for a whippersnapper. All right, 16 bravery. Awesome. And uh, as you can see, even after two years, his technical uh, defensive abilities are going up nicely. Marking 12, um, heading 13, tackling 13 as well. Uh, and he does have a reasonable left foot as well as a very strong uh, right foot. So yeah, he's looking pretty tasty so far. Obviously, it's worth quite a bit of money now. Nah, right? 49 to 74 million as this youngster. But it would do. When you cement a player in a team, the team does well, the player does well. 
the value goes up, right? So don't worry too much about that. We're just going to look at the player, all right? So after a couple of seasons, here are his stats. So obviously we cemented him in the team, so he's going to hopefully play the full season. We haven't taken injuries off, all right? So he will get injured throughout his career, and we have, we're not playing around with any of that. Um, but he did manage the first uh, four games, all, right? all 38 on both seasons. So uh, yeah, first season in the Premier League, he actually plays 7.07. .07. Now guys... First season, he was 15, and he still played 7.07, .07, so that's all right, all right? Second season after, played 7.12, and actually scored a goal. <laughs> 16 years old, sent back, popped a goal in with his big head. All right, so he did really, really well. Um, if we go back to him, yeah, it's looking pretty tasty, all right? Potential ability, five stars, looking very, very nice. As you can see here, if we go to his uh, attribute details, you can see that we put his max ability to 170 there so he will reach it we'll make sure that he reaches it so we can showcase him the best he can be um but that's as how i'm training him you might train him in a little bit differently which allow which will allow some attributes to differ from the ones you see here um obviously you can also add player traits and everything like that if you if you wish to do so so yeah let's go a few more years all right and look at him again in the future so then we've traveled all the way to 2028 now. Uh, Wisdom is now 22 years old. So he isn't in his prime age yet. He's pretty close to reaching his potential though. But look at the state of him. Look at the state of him, guys. As a no-nonsense, full ball centre-back, physicals are out of this world. 16 acceleration is agile, 17 balance, 18 jump and reach, 17 fitness, 16 pace, 17 stamina, 18 and strength is also 18. Guys, this this player is a physical masterpiece. <laughs> All right. When you look at those attributes, his other attributes are great as well. Mentals are fantastic. Anticipation, bravery, concentration, All right, big attributes for center backs, all green. All very, very high. Position in 15 could be better. You could be training them in that. That could get better with sacrificing other attributes along the way. Um, but it's it's easily possible to get that in green as well. But yeah, this guy is insane. Um, heading, marking, tackling all went up as well. 15, 15, and 14. Currently worth 129 to 164 million. 36 caps for Italy with three goals. He's, he's had a very good career. All right. And he's, he's already on his biography. Ami is truly one of the world's football global superstars. So he's already a world class player at the age of 22. And um, yeah. Had a fantastic, uh, had a fantastic start. I would say start to the Premier League has been there for seven years now. So if we go to his career stats, you can see all the seasons here. And weirdly, he started scoring quite a lot of goals on those near post corners. Um, the season after what we looked at previously, he got eight and four assists, played a seven point three eight. The best season that I've seen so far here is the twenty four twenty five season. He played a seven point seven eight. He played a 7.78. He is getting the best average rating in that Man United team or top three every single season now. All right? And he actually scored 19 goals and three assists in that season. Just above there, 12 league goals, 18 overall. 16 overall league goals there, played 7.44. He is consistently playing incredible. But when you play the game long enough, you understand that Physical attributes are so important. And when you've got a centre back, it doesn't. It is good when they do have good technicals, but for a centre back to have all those physicals, he is exceptional. Right, he plays really, really well. So um, yeah, the next one now is going to be when he is prime. All right, it's going to be his prime age, 27, 28 years old. Is going to be the best ability he can be in this game, or what I've trained him as. And uh, we're going to go through his full career. Then after that, we'll go to the end of his career and see how he actually did overall all, right, all his life. So, yeah. So here we are now. Wisdom Ami is his prime age, 27 years old. He is playing the best football he can possibly play. All right. He is working that at his 170 potential. He is not going to get any better than this. Um, apart from when he does get older, other attributes drop other attributes rise it's how it happens um but right now he is the best that he can be and yeah it's very very good 
physicals are still incredible. Uh, mentals, his positioning did end up going up as well to 16, which is nice to see. Leadership 16, he's a captain, guys. He is a captain. He does become captain for Manu. Not yet, though. He's vice captain at the minute, but he will become the captain. Um, yeah, anticipation, bravery, concentration 18. All right, heading went up as well to 16. Scoring a lot of headers, guys. He is very, very good. Um, if we go to his history on his career stats, look. Still playing consistently well. 7.53, 7.56, 7.57 every single season. All right. His worst season since, um, well, since the first two, I would say, was the 28 29 season where he played 7.36. Didn't score a lot, but he's still consistent. It's still fantastic. And he is. He is. He's a great Italian player. Uh, 85 caps now for Italy. Only four goals still. So obviously. Hasn't picked up that side, but 85 caps regardless is insane for a 27-year-old anyway. And um, yeah, so the dude is incredible. And what is there not to like? <laughs> is He is so good. So good. And don't forget, guys, if you literally skipped the start of the video just to see this guy now, he costs less than a million. He costs less than a million and is pretty much one of the best defenders in the world. Okay, and you can have him for a long, long time because he starts the game very, very young. So, yeah, next video now is um, we're going to have a look at his whole career. He's going to be old. All right, 35 years old. That's when we're going to stop the simulation because that's roughly when you would stop it. All right, it's 35. That's pretty much retirement age now. And uh, we're going to look through all, all of his biography. All right, all of his uh, full numbers. Uh, we're going to have a look at his progression, what uh, attributes actually went up what, at his time with Manchester United as well. So, yeah, can't wait. So, here we are, and we've taken him now to 34 years old. Pretty much, you would say, retirement age. Attribute-wise, no. No. <laughs> attribute rise this guy is still going to be going for a very long time if he doesn't retire naturally that is if you're forcing him to play then yeah but his physicals for a 34 year old look at him look at him they're still 15s nothing is below 15 in that sense personality a model professional right obviously that personality changed a little bit as he got older as certain attributes got better but yeah absolutely insane obviously we never changed any of that side of things we never got rid of his injuries all right so he had a great career if we have a look at his injuries all right here's all his injuries in his career that's not bad all right, he's, a, he's an absolute rock. He doesn't get injured very often, but when he does, there was a few cases that he was out for a long time. Two months there, two months there, fractured his leg and stuff like that. But overall, the dude is still incredibly good. All right, he is a legend now at Manchester United. If we go to the club info, all right, captain is this guy, pitcher, but I was looking through whilst we were simulating. He did spend a good number of years as captain for Manchester United. And um, yeah, <laughs> he's wanted. Is wanted by Inter Milan still. At 34 years old, is wanted. And uh, yeah, 142 caps, five goals for Italy. And he could probably go on for many more years because his attributes don't look like they're dropping too much. Um, so let's go to his biography then. Now, for a centre-back, you're not going to expect them to win any Ballon d'Ors or anything like that because they normally don't. It's normally strikers and wingers that win that kind of uh, stuff. But we'll go through his achievements anyway. So he won the European Golden Boy, uh, NXGN twice, World Under-21 uh, World Under 21 Footballer of the Year three times, English Players Young Player of the Year four times, he also won the European Champions Cup Defender of the Season three times. World Cup Best Player. World Cup Best Young Player. Nice. World Footballer of the Year third place. So he was close. He was in contention for the Ballon d'Or. He was close, guys. Um, European Championship Best Young Player. Euro Cup Player of the Season third place. Club World Championship Best Player Runner-Up twice. English Footballer of the Year twice. English Players Player of the Year twice. Club World Championship Top Goal Scorer third place. Club World Championship Top Goal Scorer third place. World uh, Golden Ball Runner-Up and World Player of the Year Runner-Up. Now, World Player of the Year is the big one. And he was runner-up in which season are we looking at there we go in the 2035 season he came second it was only Haaland that beat him to that Ballon d'Or he came second now for a centre-back to even be there 
is insane in itself. So yeah, this guy is insane. Absolutely, obviously, loads of other players in Manu now have uh, pretty much nearly gone 20 years in the future, but yeah, in itself, guys, this is definitely someone you should get, and for less than a million pound, he is a complete steal. Complete steal! Um, if we go to his development, all right, progress over the course of his whole career, uh, let's go, all time. All right, so here you can see what went up. So first touch went up by three, heading went up by four, marking went up by five, tackling actually only went up by one there, but obviously it has changed since he's got a little bit older. This is this part of his career. I should have probably done it when he was at his prime. Everything still went up anyway. Um, anticipation, six, look. Composure, four. Concentration, six. Uh, positioning went up six. Vision went up six. So he did slowly start to become a player that could maybe go into that ball-playing position. We started him as a, a centre-back. You might be able to get him as a ball-playing centre-back uh, later on in his career. Uh, you can see his physicals all flew up as well. Strength went up three, uh, but it was 18 at one point, so it went up by four. Stamina up three. Uh, agility, balance, jump and reach as well, but all those were greens. All those are actually higher. But there's a little bit of a indication of what attributes fly up um, in all his career, guys. So, yeah. Absolute bargain player for under a million pound. Um, if you can get him, of course, then good luck. He is an absolute steal. He's an absolute force to be reckoned with in that back line. And he's a great player overall. So, yeah, wisdom at me, guys. All right, so thank you for watching this video. I'm Tucker Jobs. This is FM Scout. I'll see you in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to visit my channel. And, uh, yeah, good luck in your saves, guys. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.